Hello and welcome, how are you doing my friend? And next I am planning to show you that how we can find this Toyota cars error and faulty code and this engine file record what we have in this my car and first I start this my car and there is my key Okay and now there is situation that there is not yet this faulty code but this faulty code normally appears in here and and I think that we can take short ride okay and actually there is this faulty code in there now we can see and how we can know that what kind of error code it is Okay, and for that purpose we need now this uh, faulty code scanner and I have in here this my my tablet this in this my hand it is just in there there's this my tablet and now we need this this uh, this Android tablet what I have in my hand this is Android tablet and then we need this dogway program what is in here and this is applet this is uh, this uh, android applet in google store and we can purchase that applet and uh, then we need to check that what kind of errors we have in there and i check those my errors and what kind of errors I have there is one error but before of that I need to refresh that and I press that more button and refresh and now this system is scanning my car's computer and it reading faulty mode responses and this takes time it, it, it takes time something like 20 seconds it is fast operation. There is this my quite soon there is 91, 2, 3. There is and now there is one error message. And it's P1155 and power train. And then when I tap this my my program it gives me information. And now when I have this Toyota car, I go to not BMW, there is Toyota, air fuel sensor heater, circuit, bank 2, sensor 1. And that means that this sensor is now broken and I need to replace that. And then I can erase that error message. And then we go to look this my engine area. Next. And we replace that system. Okay, and then we need to check that what is this sensor's location. And I check that, that, that what is this error message. It's P11 and it says, says that Toyota Bank 2 Sensor 1. And there is four sensors in this my catalytic converter area. And that's I need to check in this picture that what is this my right sensor location and it was tank 2 and sensor sensor 1 and it means now that that it is this side this left side and up one and there is one two three four two af sensors in up and then two in low okay and then let's go to look my engine area next that can we find these sensors in there okay Okay, now we are in this Toyota's engine area and there is exhaust manifold and I have already take out this my, my exhaust manifold exhaust manifold sealed what is in here and then we can look in here inner area and there is this exhaust manifold and then I show those sensors to you next Okay, and now we are watching 
this X housed manifold and here is first sensor and then second in here. And that means now when I take this my tablet, that when we look at my tablet area thing, what we can see in there, we can check that there is this my picture. That it means that there is punk 2 sensor number 1 and there is punk number 1 and sensor 1 and when we look in here this is punk 2 and sensor 1 and there is punk 1 and sensor 1 and this is punk 2 and sensor number 1 okay interesting okay and that means that this is our target target sensor and there it is and then we then we start to look that closer. And it location is in here. Okay, first step is to take this 22 millimeter friends and it fits just in here when I insert insert my tool in that position in here look now it's in position and then I open that in this direction. This is this opening direction. Start, end. And now this, my sensor moves and then remember these parts, they are very hot. And look, I am using gloves. They are extremely hot. And the sensor is also extremely hot. And remember, these sensors are always good to take out when this engine is hot because then this part they moves easier but of course remember they are hot like oven that we can hurt our fingers and now when I rotate that in carefully in here at the same time there is good to take this cable connector out and there is this alternator and this connector belongs in this part in here in that way, look, there is this alternator area, engine area, and in there, there is this my cable, and first I need to press this part down, and I keep my thumb, and then second, I take only in that area grip, not in this wires, wires, that area and pull out, that way, start, end, start, and and this is this looks like to be a little bit tight and now it's open okay and this is tight sorry but now I think that this my oxygen sensor work continues and I take this my cable in here and then I rotate that in that way and same time I'm rotate also this cable in that way and couple of rotation and this is hot hoo hoo my fingers are really hot and now now this cable is free excellent okay and now i have installed into a new sensor and this my sensor was that there was little little bit more cables but now sensor is in back and it has been fastened in there and i have connected that and then, then we looked at how this my defect leaves after that. And let's go to this my dashboard area. Okay, and now we are in inside. And then I start this engine again. And let's look at what, what says this my defect. And now there is defect is still in there and that means that I need to reset that away and let's go to do that next okay and now when engine is running we can see there is this file relight and now I need to take that away and for that away situation I need this my my tablet what is in here? 
And then I insert my tablet again in, in here. And it is in that position. And then I open this my Tokue program. And it's in there. And it, by the way, measures my revs. And then I take faulty codes. And there is this my faulty code. And then I need to only press that more button in here. This button and there is text. Clear faulty on ECU. And this is like remove remove codes from from this car computer and I press that and then clear faulty codes and then when I press that okay okay then all faulty codes are away and same time that lights go away and that's I insert now this my tablet in here that we can we can look both now it's quite nicely. There is my tablet. Okay, good. And there is OK button. And look that. There is this engine file record in there. And now when I press that OK, OK button in there, then, then this, then this uh, faulty codes remo goes away. Now I press that. Look, this is like, okay, interesting. And now, and now it's some same and now it is saying that that the system is resetting. It says that complete. And now all faulties or faulties are away. Excellent. No any faulties. Good. That kind of thing and also in there there is no any more faulties and everything is fine and Thank you for watching and this was information that how to remove this uh, faulty code and also repair this AF oxygen sensor error. Okay, I see you in next movie.